Good morning and welcome to Country Needleworks Monday Marketplace. Kelly and Pam back with another edition and we're super excited about this one. This one is one of my favorite yarns. Uh, it's the Zauber Ball Crazy by Scassell. It is a fabulous fingering weight, changes colors. There's little tiny, teeny tiny picture on the back that shows you what it looks like knit up. And I think Barb, would you agree with this statement that this is the most colors of Zauber Ball we've ever had? The very most. And um, they're all fantastic. And we have a couple options today. The first one is the one Pam's wearing, a store model, and it's easy. It's actually called easy, the pattern. And it uses just one skein of the Zauber Ball. This was a fun one to knit. Um, I made this store model it is easy it's one skein you work it up till 50 percent of your ball and then it actually changes directions and it looks like that that is sewn together it is not it's the way it was knitted so the stripes really show um, it's very long and comfortable so you can wrap it around once or twice i just had it wrapped once um, just a super fun it just really brings out the yarn. You don't expect it to look like this. And it was just a fun, easy knit. So, And it looks like it's reversible. It is. It's all garter. So again, it's a, it works up fast. And you would probably want a scale at home? You like need a, a scale. scale. Definitely need a scale. Um, so you can weigh the ball before you start, after you take the tag off. <laughs> right. You have to go up to 50%. And it is really accurate. I ended up with about a foot and a half of yarn left. So you need a good constant gauge. This is another thing, it's a German pattern. So do not be afraid to change needle sizes to get your gauge. What needle size did you end it up It called using? for a two and a half and I ended up using a four. Oh, okay. So, but I got the gauge on the four. So um, that's just a little, a little tip. You want it light and airy. And so, yeah, it was and great. And which color was that? Oh, what color number is it? Is it this one? It is that one right there. 1507. But you can pick any of a, the colors. That is one of each of all the colors that we have. So if you see one you love, just give us the color number. And we'll set it aside for you. Do you have a favorite out of them? The one I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I love this teal that came through with the red. It was it was this gorgeous. This is my new favorite. We haven't had that one before, but I really like it. I'm actually using it for another project right now. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, teal. So our next option is this shawl that I'm wearing. It's called Rainbow Ripples. It is definitely a harder project than the one Pam has. It is brioche and short rows, German short rows in this. It starts in the center, works in a circle, and then you end up working the, the wings back and forth. So gorgeous, I would not recommend it for your first ever brioche project. Um, but everything's explained really well, so if you're a little adventurous, I think it would be a good option. Between and it's just and beautiful. It, this used one Zauber ball. I had a little bit of it left and about one and a half skeins of the Heritage sock yarn. So we have, you know what we didn't do? Mm -hmm. We didn't tell you how much the skeins of Zauber ball are. 2450 and how many yards are on there? 460 yards. And what is it made of? It's a nylon wool blend. There we go. And that easy pattern is six thirty-five. So for just over thirty dollars, you could make that yes. scarf that Pam is wearing. Um, so, like I said, these kits we're gonna move on over. I love it. Sure. We put together several kits of the Zauber Ball and the Heritage yarn. Those kits are forty-eight forty-six, and the pattern is seven fifty. We have a couple kits over here, the last two, that use uh, Malabrego yarn instead of Heritage, just because, you know, they were gorgeous together. So those... Which two, Kelly? I just got over sorry, here. Sorry, 21 and 22 have Her or, um, 
Malabrego sock with them instead of the Heritage. And Gorgeous. those kits are 64 even. And again, the pattern is 750. Of course, you are welcome to come in and put your own kit together. We have more Heritage coming. Do you have any idea when? I would think. Maybe by the time the I video so. yeah. airs, sure. we will have it. This is the color right here that I used in mine. This might show black in the video. It's actually a super dark blue. I think it's a little bit darker than what I used in mine. Um, but we do have the navy I used in mine on order, so that will be here very soon. Do you have a favorite of these? I have several favorites. The color combinations are, are great. This one is beautiful. I love that one on the so end. Um, this one is pretty. This one is really striking. And then that is sharp. There's a lot of cool color combinations here. It's such fun yarn. I love it. I We've had the yarn for a while, not much of it. And we've, for some reason, have never had a mm -mm. model out of it. Mm -mm. And I, it was time. And when once it started, it's good. Yes. And like I said, I have another project I'm using it for. And there are a lot of options for Zelber Ball. You can use it for socks. Mm -hmm. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. I think we covered everything. We good? Good. I think so. <laughs> All right. Thank you for tuning in. And we will see you next week with a new project.